Lewis Street corner with a reported violent history may soon have a new look. A gas station blamed by some citizens for the violence may be forced to shut down after a judge's decision. But as Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes reports, the legal reason may surprise you. This shell station on the corner of Tucker, just north of Washington Avenue downtown, lost a court fight brought by the Neighborhood Improvement Association, Downtown West Incorporated, and resident Matt O'Leary, who we interviewed here in 2020. It's just become one of the uh, landmarks on kind of what we call the cruising ecosystem down here. From drug deals to violence, like a 2022 reported shooting that spilled out onto the streets, resulting in a car crash. Uh, all kinds of uh, just mayhem. Attorney Paul Puricelli said he attempted action on nuisance issues, but found a more direct route when he says he found a zoning violation. And what we ultimately prevailed on was the fact that you, the city ordinances have always, as long as I can find, uh, prohibited the uh, gas stations as a use in the central business district. And I think this is a good uh, sort of poster boy for why. He won a ruling stripping the gas station of its permits, which could lead to a complete shutdown, depending on future rulings. The attorney for the station, Dan Emerson, declined to talk on camera, but told me by phone that crime won't just disappear if this station closes. He believes it was unfairly targeted, says the owners were trying to take positive action, such as hiring security. He says they're currently considering what to do with this ruling, including whether or not to appeal. This is not going to stop the crime. Downtown resident Deata Crockett also wants action to chill the violence, but he does not think closing the shell will. You can't stop the way people act. So if they leave here, they're going down to the next gas station. Plus, he says this is his closest grocery store. It's better to have something there, I think, than nothing at all. We also talked to developer Ryan Scholes, who has no dog in this fight and sees several sides. Anytime we have vacant properties, like the ones on Kings Highway that's been vacant forever, um, what that does, it causes crime. He says the grassroots action that started with citizens is a good sign. The community involvement is really important, especially on the development side. And the judge's decision that did not address nuisance, but rather an alleged zoning violation, that comes back down to the, really the business owner, though, needs to know, you know, from the beginning, is this, is this, does this work in this area? You know, they have to look at zoning. We, you know, we deal with it all the time. That's why it goes through the zoning process. You know, there's certain stages that it has to go through, and you got to make sure that, you know, that's on them. Like, you know, they, they should have known that. Now the judge will decide what that means for the future of this gas station. He has asked us to propose orders for what happens next. We'll propose an order that, uh requires the station to shut down. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.